you know that my therapist doesn't believe that I suffer from depression. And I'm beginning to think that I don't either. I think what I have is um, a kind of anxiety that mm. is maybe comorbid with a rage problem <laughs> that is activated yeah. literally just in, in, um, when I'm running late. So, excuse me? Can you get me to you? Sorry, my dog is um, I love Howard. acting out. I love Howard. Oh, there he goes. He's going to sleep. Oh, my God. Well, I had to take him with me because my apartment is a hellscape at the moment. Yes. It's covered in broken glass. Really? There's a door. Oh, from Ridge. Kicked in. Ridge? Yeah. Yours. Because, mm hmm. Because uh, I got highly pigmented red lipstick on my chin in the final stages of makeup no, when I was freaked about out. five minutes from being out the door. You freaked out? And absolutely spiraled. Do you and, like to throw? Um, do you like yeah, to punch? Yeah, so I don't know if that's a, a depressive symptom as much as it is maybe well, a kind of less enchanting behavioral issue. I mean, depression is, you know, it's not that enchanting. It's, it's kind of a drag. I mean, I prefer, I think I'd be more into rage comorbid with anxiety, you know what I mean? <laughs> Comorbidity, uh -huh. um, uh -huh. you know, two things dying next to each other. <laughs> I think that whoever was in charge of creating this language yeah. that we speak did a very oh. bad job with every genital word. I, I could not agree more. Can we just s spend one moment on this, okay? And language is sure. important to us, you know? And it, it also finds its way into the ways that we talk to ourselves, okay? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which we can talk. Self-talk, negative self-talk. Negative self-talk, you know, you know really lead, lead into things. But, but penis, you know, it's so stupid. <laughs> uh, penis. Yeah. It, I mean, it's literally, like, want to hear a comparable word? Like, um... I want to use all different consonants so it's not leaning on the same. Co so it's gonna be like dupus, and then it's like too close. Okay? No, no, even dupus would be better. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, like for that. F wait, so, wait. Penis. First of all, you have to like nasalize the e, so you sound mm, like a you nest. sound like a whiny little. Yeah, peen. <laughs> and then and then nis. Nis. Penis is bad in a different way than vagina. They're completely different. Do you want to know why they're horrible? Yeah. In my estimation, Absolutely. okay. Absolutely. Okay, it's, it's, <laughs> okay, it's like, it's like, it's trying to open and as it does, things like spittle is moving with it. Like It's yeah. like isomorphic here, trying, yes. it's like mimics the actual. <laughs> get in now, get in now. Like, okay. I can't even get through it, it's disgusting. I don't believe a rose by any other name, okay? I. No, I, a different name is a different better. rose. Jacqueline, what I was going to say yeah. is that I really hate the word bipolar. Mm. I, w I vastly prefer manic depression. Manic depressive. Yeah. Because um, I don't, and I don't really know what to, I don't know how to, I don't know if it really is just syllable count, how chewy it is to say manic depressive mm. and how great it is and how uh, it seems to poetically yeah. encapsulate both states. Right. Mania and depression. Right. Whereas right. bipolar, you're just saying, I have two states. Right. That I have two states. Right. But some people feel that, you know, the language, right, having a diagnosis, you know, sort yeah. of sort of mm, feeling around for your diagnosis, you know, landing it landing it a good one that you yeah. can really sink into. <laughs> <A good> <laughs> and, yeah, yeah. And pilot. Absolutely. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, you, know, you can drive pull, that pull diagnosis. With, yes. Home. And, you know, oh, now that you call yourself depressed, you are depressed. No, actually, I'm less depressed now that I've compartmentalized Absolutely. it with the language. Okay, so here's the thing though, is that we, unfortunately, like we're all of this generation, we all have our phones, we all have like, right. blah, blah, blah. we all grew up with the porn on the web or whatever. You know, we don't have, we don't have mortgages. So, okay, but we also have maybe something it's not, it's not just a, a fault of our generation is, but it's a good thing is that we are entitled to our diagnoses. We would like our, <laughs> the language that we use to describe our feelings right. to match up to kind of map onto it in a way that feels mm. accurate. And I think that that's not just us being brats. Yeah. I think that it's absolutely important, even in a context where we are allowed to talk about mental health at all. I find talking to you about depression and emotions also like so delightful. Uh -huh. And like our text messages like really do a lot for me. Oh good. Do you find Likewise. them of value as well? Absolutely. I certainly feel this about you, that um, there is permission to unload without yes. 
the, without the pressure to respond mm. uh, in full immediately, there are things where I go, okay, I can just dump this into this yes. text message thread. At least Jacqueline will eventually appreciate the emotion and yes. the way it's articulated. Yes. And I won't have to waste time convincing a less intelligent, Ugh. less emotionally aware friend. Yes. Uh, just getting them up to speed before Amazing. I can begin this to tell them. Amazing. This is just what I want to hear. Yeah, you just serve it up. You leave it in my inbox. Yeah. I mean, I meant that metaphorically and then accidentally used technology that, you Absolutely. know, once again, language fails us. <laughs> this has been Howard, named after Stern, yes? Yeah, Howard Stern, King of All Media. That's his full name. Ham sandwich, Howard Stern, King of All Media. And I'm Jacqueline Novak. This was How to Weep in Public. Please watch the rest of the videos. Gorgeous.